It's the battle of the two of the 15th seed. It is Albany 2 Regional. UCLA 25 and 6 on the year with its highest seed in program history. And it faces California Baptist out of the Western Athletic Conference making its tournament debut. Here's how things have shaken out in our side of the bracket. Creighton scores nearly 90 earlier today against UNLV. So it feels like half of Riverside is in this arena tonight. And a nice Southern California battle here to close out the evening. And it's powered a team that won 28 games this year. That lineup brought to you by Capital One. Gabriela Hawkins gets the start for UCLA tonight. She finds London Jones, Ohio State, Florida State. Hawkins cleans it up, scores it. And it's 10 to 2. And UCLA, again, playing without Lauren Betts. There's six, seven center. Is that with a foot injury? Hawkes for get more. Brought to you by Geico. Dugalich got it. Straight on three is down. Certain points of this season and postseason. Well, she's got two today. Boss Duran cut it hard off. The, off the screen, and there's Cameron Brown erasing that one at the rim. Ooh, Cameron Brown, another fifth-year senior, bringing some intensity from the bench, perfectly positioned. One of the more efficient defensive teams in the country. Matter of fact, the top 25 in the nation. Ironically, there's the turnover from CBU. She is looking to get that ball up and out into the middle of the floor the moment she has her hands on it. Rice on the pull. It's an impressive shot. Especially to start this second half, but we saw her. Jones fires. That's strong. Brown tried to knock it free, but Webb now a blur into the front court. Tua launches and buries the three. Tua finds Sewell. Yeah, so it's back to a three-point game. But now six of nine at the strike. Hawkins has had some breakout games at times this year. Went for 30 earlier this season. Rice drops three and drains it. The confidence they're playing with in a building. Yes, their fans are loud, but it's a lot of UCLA blue and gold here. Osborne with six to shoot. Yes. In all seven of those prior appearances in this tournament, they would like to do that again. Hawkins for three. That's good. 15. One of her better scoring nights in a long time. She has been. Back to back jumpers are down for the Bruins. And a steal. This is Osborne. No look to Rice. Got it. And the foul. Yeah, I think you have to stay keyed in on your personnel. Ooh, and that's been that's been a weakness, just the size of UCLA, even without bets. Bounce pass to Barrington, and she threw it away. Just too much pressure. Webb, though, takes it back. Barrington's got back-to-back. -back. That's her third. Kinsley Barrington back off of the bench from the foul trouble. And Webb to Barrington, got another. Rice wants three. That's short. Hawkes, put back is good. Plus the foul. Gabriela Hawkes making the most of entering the starting lineup here without Lauren Ben. Back the other way with a 19 point advantage. A near steal. Tua knocked it away, and she does come away with it. Sontag chasing Lemon. A block. UCLA takes over. UCLA has had a strong start to the second half. Sont Look at how quickly Rice attacks, finds Brown. One dribble, back out to Osborne. Extra pass, this is Jones. And puts it in. Kiki Rice could essentially break a press by herself. Gets the ball to the middle of the floor, and then London Jones, one of the best three-point shooters in program history already, is just a sophomore. Yeah, the Creighton staff is to our left scouting this game, and they had the, the men's game pulled up. Kiki Rice, smooth as ever on that left side. Two minutes to play in the third quarter. Oh, wow, Calhoun. Oh, it's an anchor breaker, and a bucket 
so that'll at least ignite the CBU section for a moment. Calhoun. California Baptist has had some nice moments. Ooh, Nene Calhoun. Has got it here with 40 seconds to play in the quarter. Calhoun, get that out of here. Dougal each sends it right back to her. Osborne looks up, checks the timer. Dougal each comes to set the screen. She goes the other way from 15. That one bounces through. Debut. Lemon spins, throws it up. Wild left. Take it down by Osborne. Osborne to Hawkins. There's a clear path to the rim. UCLA back ahead by 21. Yeah, now 17 for Hawkins. She's just one behind Rice. And she's been incredibly efficient. Seven of nine from the floor, plus five rebounds. Calhoun gets that one to go. It had eight wins against AP top 25 ranked teams. Another giveaway. CBU on the move. Calhoun to Webb. There's back to back for the Lancers. 17 point lead for UCLA. That one knocked to do the lead, and she banks it in. As the home team back in front by 20. And Charisma Husborn saved the possession. She almost had an, an up and down travel call, kind of knocked it over to her in the last second. Calhoun, this is a long-range triple, splashes it from deep. There go, it's a 6-0 Lancer run. First NCAA tournament and their first appearance in the big dance, and they have been impressive against a really good UCLA team. CBU from Riverside, about 70 miles from Westwood. Iwala count the basket and the foul. The 6-0 CBU run with 6.46 to play in this one. Little ball screen and roll. CBU did a nice job of sliding over into help, but Christine Iwala just a more of a manageable deficit, though time is really running out here. The winner of this one faces Creighton in a round of 32 matchup on Monday. She's a blur. The veteran leaves it for Hawkes, gets hit, and then missed the layup. So CBU has displayed incredible resilience and fight quite often tonight box duran knocks down that triple so in terms of how many tournaments they're reaching where they're finishing in the pac 12 and how deep they are advancing in this tournament e says, give me one more christine wall i mean add another one of these talented sophomores to the couple we have